Air candidates focused on changing minds now in the midterm elections are now changing strategy in these final 17 days. Despite record early voter turnout, their idea now is to get them to actually vote. That's especially true with Georgia's fight in the U.S. Senate. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more tonight on the race for turnout. There are fewer places on earth than here in the city of South Fulton, where a Georgia Democrat like Raphael Warnock has a more devoted following. And yet... <laughs> On this October Saturday, here he was. Raphael Warnock wasn't seeking votes at this rally in South Fulton. The Democrat was seeking voters, those who might be inclined to support him, but who haven't prioritized voting in this election. Very often we see uh, weak turnout during midterms. Uh, I am heartened by the fact that people are showing up to vote in record numbers, uh, but we can't rest on the laurels of what we've seen over the last few days. We need people to make a plan to vote. Warnock's Republican opponent, Herschel Walker, is making a similar pitch. Although Walker has faced some doubts among Republican voters, the former football star's assertive performance so in a debate eight tonight, days ago is giving conservatives hope that they can turn out voters who had been on the fence. The reason why candidates right now are focused on turnout is that if you look at the polling over the last six months, it's been remarkably stable. We have not seen wild fluctuations. Republican strategist Brian Robinson says the Senate candidates, plus Republican Brian Kemp, running for a second term as governor against Democrat Stacey Abrams, are all fixated at this point on their known supporters rather than finding new ones. They know who you are, and they're going to make sure they pound you with information and pound you with messages until you go and cast your ballot for them. There may still be some undecided or persuadable voters still out there, but at this point in the campaign, the millions of dollars of advertising that you're still seeing aims to reach them. In South Fulton, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.